the soil is, as far as I know, virgin. Uh, one of the matriarchs of this, of this particular area had grown this herself for many years. She actually used to live in this house where the owners currently live and grew this as an organic garden. And she's got, I would say, at least 60 years of organic growing experience. You still need pesticides, sure. Um, with anything, whether natural or not, it can still be very dangerous. I mean, you know, it could make a human being sick. Um, but it doesn't have the residual effects. It doesn't stay like in a fruit. It doesn't get absorbed in the fruit, and then you have this, you know, man-made chemical in the fruit. You just rinse it off. You can you can spray and harvest the same day, with no adverse effects. You grow them out here. Nothing bad in it. I mean, we'll take it right up to the restaurant. Peter loves this stuff. We try to use as many ingredients from the garden as we can. Uh, when that is not possible. Uh, we uh, try to buy as much as local produce as we, as we have available to us. Of course, this usually happens uh, uh, late in the spring, summer, uh, most of the fall. Uh, then we go into some winter plantings uh, that we try to incorporate into our menus, but that does not supply the totality of the produce that we use here in the kitchen. Basically, the menu process, the way it goes, is uh, once we know the things that we're going to uh, plant from the garden, we try to orient the menu uh, uh, according to uh, what we're growing on the garden. Usually in the summer, uh, we cater more to uh, uh, um, a more wide spectrum of customers. Uh, when we start hitting uh, uh, the end of fall, beginning of winter, we usually try to focus more on local clientele. The season plays a great part of uh, what are the elements that we're going to be using on the menu, uh, the price range where we want to maintain ourselves at, and all those things really play uh, an important role on what we decide what goes on the menu in that one specific season.